Here I am in my kitchen. It's four o'clock Wednesday, April 22nd. And I'm excited to show you guys a little bit of a tour of my kitchen and share some healthy tips with you guys. I'm gonna wait just a few minutes and see who all is going to pop on so that I can say hello, hello, Michelle. Hi, Deborah. So this is the first time I've done a Facebook Live from my phone. Hi, Vicki. And uh, so I hope that uh, it will go okay. My internet is a little spotty here today. It's really windy and we have some issues as it is. So I hope that the internet will stay throughout this little healthy tip it's in my kitchen. Um, anyways, so thank you for being here. I hope everyone is safe and healthy. Uh, can you guys hear me okay, by the way? Can you give me a thumbs up or some sort of sign whether or not you can hear me well? I have my volume all the way up. And uh, so I hope that you guys are well and safe and healthy. And thank you for joining me. And all right, Teresa, thanks for joining. Oh, thanks, Vicki, for the thumbs up. So you guys can hear me. Great. Well, I'm excited to share with you today. I'll tell you what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna give you a little tour of my kitchen and uh, then I'm gonna get into uh, making a salad. And the salad does not have to be boring. It can be fun and creative and healthy, obviously. But I'm gonna share some really good tips with you guys. So anyhow, uh, before I get started on the salad fixing, let me give you a tour of my kitchen. And my question is, is as I show you around my kitchen, let me hear from you if you can tell what is missing in my kitchen. Okay, so I've got to unplug this and um, let me see. Okay, so here's my kitchen. Here's my little corner here. This is one of my favorite pictures. Um, this is Jerry and I at our lake place that we grew up with in my my side of the family up in Minnesota. So, oh, I was gonna tell you that this, we've lived here for 17 years and we live in Percival and this is a galley style kitchen. The house was built in 1971, but a lot of people think that it's a lot older. It has kind of like old world feel. It's got some charm and character. And uh, so, but it was built in 1971. And um, before I lived in this house, my other kitchens, I never had anything on the counters. I do not like having stuff on the counters at all. And you're gonna see my counters are full here. I don't understand it. But there's more to the story, which I'm gonna tell you a little bit about our remodel job we're gonna be doing um, here right after COVID. So here's our kitchen. Here's, go along here. I have these closed right now because you guys can't see me when I'm doing my little demonstration. But we do have a nice view out here. You can't really see, but oh my gosh, there's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, big, beautiful oak tree that I look at every morning. And uh, we also have American flag out there, which I love looking at. Here's our little coffee center. See, I told you I've got all these appliances on the counter. And I just, hopefully um, with our new project, all of this will go away. We'll be appliance free here. And then this piece is really kind of interesting. I don't know if you guys can see it all, but this was an old cheese and bread display case. And you can see it had like a cutting board. It's an antique, it came from Europe. And the previous owner had bought it and she wanted to take it with her and it didn't fit in her new house by like an inch. So we, we bought it from, from her and we just love it. It just kind of makes this kitchen. Of course, I have a little death dish problem. And then, so we've got beautiful views. We can see out here, um, you can't really see from in here from the camera, but we do have a gorgeous view of the Blue Ridge Mountains. And then this is like a little seating area. Uh, we have a, a nice little fireplace here. You can see there's ashes in there because we do use it. It hasn't been very warm yet here, so we're still using the fire sometimes in the evening. And then we have this 
grill area here that was built in. Um, the last people, when they had it, they had a big um, board here and they had a TV here. <laughs> but we, we like to use it as a grill. And this is kind of funny because I personally do not like this. Like these iron skillets, it looks very old fashioned to me and it really kind of bothers me. But my husband loves it and he's now cooking a lot and he loves to cook with these um, iron skillets. So, you know what, sometimes you just gotta let some things go, right? <laughs> Anyways, oh, hi, Bella. Anyways, um, here's a little bookcase that we have, and then you can see I've got my little cooking demonstration going on, and again, more appliances. So I used to have my um, Vita mixer here, this blender, and this Breville uh, toaster oven. Well, it's all in one oven. We've never had this here, which there's a little bit more to that story, I'll tell you. But this is a fantastic, well, I use this probably more than my regular ovens. I love this. So the question is, can anyone, oh, thank you, like the brick. Can anyone tell me what's missing in my kitchen? Okay. Anyways, oh, Deborah, you like the pans up there too? <laughs> All right, well, you saw my kitchen. Is there something, is there some important piece missing? Oh, there goes my dog. Um, any guesses? All right. Wow. Oh, before I go show you my pantry, here's our little chalkboard. Sorry if that's going so fast. Um, but this is what I have down in my office. It's bring the love, be strong, be non-judgmental, be kind, and be a positive light. So, hi, Joni. Ah, you got it. Annabella, yes, it's a refrigerator. My refrigerator is in my pantry. And this refrigerator actually is brand new. And about two weeks into the COVID, our refrigerator died. And we had to live out of coolers for about 10 days. And it's hard to see, but it's a little bit complicated. But see the green line up there and this messiness in the ceiling? But the previous owner had boxed all this in. She had boxed this rack in and she had boxed in the refrigerator. And there, you can see these lines. Anyways, I guess at one point the room used to be green. So the new refrigerator didn't fit within those boxes. So we took the walls down. And then it's kind of fun because what's behind this wall is a utility room in our garage. And um, we're going to open that up. So when you come into the mud room from the, like from the garage here, you come in and it's we've got our laundry and everything here. Some of the old style cabinets I can't wait to get rid of. So this is gonna be our new mudroom pantry uh, prep area. I'm gonna have a juicing station here. I'm so excited. So I'll do all of my prep in here and then bring out the stuff to the kitchen. So that's how we operate around here. It's a little bit different, but anyways, let me get you guys set up here. I'm gonna plug in my phone so you guys can by the way Deborah is going to be answering some questions in case I'm busy here doing the, the little demonstration and make sure you guys can see everything you guys this is so much fun that you're here um oh hey Melissa thanks for coming oh by the way isn't this a cute apron I bought this locally at today actually I went to my favorite place which I'm going to talk to you about making salads I got this at um mom's apple pie hill high in round hill and um they had this cute little apron hanging there i'm like oh my gosh i have to get this for today and then i got these cute little dish towels to go along with it so anyway so eating healthy you know it is a choice and it really starts with what you bring into the house so everything that i'm showing he you here today are things that i have on a weekly basis so you know, it really starts with your buying decision out in the grocery stores. And by the way, since COVID has happened, I have not been to the grocery store. We use Instacart. And at first I was feeling a little guilty about it, right? Because I was like, why am I making someone else go? At the same time, we live with my 94 year old mother-in-law and we're taking as many precautions as we can. So 
We do use Instacart, I love it. And I've actually was telling a friend of mine that it actually is saving us money because I give them a list, they buy everything on the list, there's no going off the list, and they bring it here. So it's actually saving me time and money. So I am grateful to them and I like being able to give them a good tip and so you know hopefully that's helping them as well so eating healthy is a choice and uh, i'm going to share with you how to make a salad not be boring right because you, you want to have some creativity with your food and one of the things that i learned is that when you're making a salad the more color the better and i'm going to give you some tips on how to make your salad a little bit more substantial too. So it's more of a meal and not like a side salad or something like that. So I got this local um, lettuce here, Pie Hill. So I'm gonna just put, plop some of that in there. Um, most of this stuff has been prepared. I did wash my hands. So as I said, you want to have a lot of colors. So I've got purple cabbage and I've got yellow peppers, red peppers, and I'll put that in there. I want to tell you something about those peppers too. Uh, kind of a good tip. Um, I'll tell you that in a minute. So then I have, I love, love, love these mini cucumbers. I buy them all the time in a package and I'm gonna give you a tip with these cucumbers and the peppers and whatnot. But again, it's all stuff that I have on a weekly basis in my refrigerator. So I've got those little cucumbers, I've got snap peas that I'm putting in here, and cherry tomatoes. So nice variety, a lot of color. Uh, and let me give you a tip about these cucumbers and these peppers, the snap peas, and the cherry tomatoes. So. They're great for salads, but what I do is I make my uh, husband lunch and dinner and snacks for work every day, and you get this roasted red pepper hummus, and you put a little bit of that in a container, and these make really nice um, veggies to go with your hummus. So you can have them in salads, hummus. You can also put a lot of this like in an omelet if you want. So these are all things that I normally have on hand. So there you go. And another really healthy choice for a tasty salad is beans, any kind of beans, like chichi beans, you can um, use, these are cannellini beans, you can use kidney beans. So beans are a really good source for you. And then I like to buy these little um, things for olives, you know, and that it's also good for Jerry to have as a snack. Um, so, so far it's all veggies. Now you could go a couple different ways with this salad, so it's pretty colorful, I'll show you in a minute. If you want it, you could go kind of Mediterranean and put some olives and some pepper rings in there. I love these things, these are my favorite dilly beans. I don't know if you've ever had them, but these are the bomb. I love dilly beans. So if you wanted to go more tangy, you could. You could also decide to go a little bit more fruity if you want, you can put some cranberries in there. I love the salad with a lot of berries in it. You could put a nice green apple, which would give it some really good crunch. But uh, some of my favorite thing to do is, oh, here's a, here's a hard-boiled egg I'm gonna put in there. My mother-in-law made those for me today, for us today. So I'm gonna put a nice egg in there. Um, th this is really good to have on hand. Some tuna, you can also, this is albacore white tuna, which I prefer uh, in water, packed in water. And then you can also get salmon. So that is a really healthy addition to the salad, the veggie salad, to make a little bit more protein and you, you're not as hungry, you're, you fill up more. And, but one of my secrets, my secret, secret, secret to a healthy salad is cauliflower rice. I love cauliflower rice. Now we usually get it fresh, but the Instacart people, uh, yesterday they were out, so we have frozen on hand, so I made some frozen in the, in the microwave. And uh, so you just put that cauliflower rice and it's really nice because it's warm. So again, it makes it more substantial, which I really like. 
And then a couple of other things that are fun and healthy is you can put all kinds of nuts. You got sunflower seeds. I think I'll put some sunflower seeds. I have walnuts there. Um, but, and the sunflower seeds are really good too. But these, these are like my two little secrets. And this is um, chia seeds and flax seed. And I think Deborah has some information um, about some of the attributes of these and why they're so healthy. I've been doing this for years on my salads. You don't even really taste it and they definitely are good for you. So I love to put um, those two things in there. Oh, and if you don't have cauliflower rice, let me just tell you, this is kind of cool. Um, if you buy this brand of already made rice, it's VT brand. Um, we get it at uh, Harris Teeter. Um, but this is Maspati, Basmati. My favorite is Thai basil lime. Oh my gosh, that is amazing in your salad. If you don't want to do the cauliflower rice, you want to just do regular rice. So, and then another thing I want to show you. Of course, we always do fresh ground pepper. And I like, but if I'm going to salt, which I rarely do, but if I'm going to, I'm going to put a little sea salt. But I love this. I love this. This is my Himalayan pink salt. I love that. Gives it a little kick. Um, so also we have, of course, you might want to have some fresh herbs. So I have some parsley that I like to put in there. Gives it a nice little hint of flavor. And then this, you guys will love these. These you get at Trader Joe's and they're salad toppers. So like I oftentimes have my own nuts, but in Jerry's salad sometimes I'll make a salad. I don't dress it. You know, I give them a little container of dressing and then I give them this little packet of um, salad toppers and then we just put it on. And it's got little pumpkin seeds, little almonds. It's really good. So, I mean, I don't know if you guys can see how pretty this salad is looking, but it's got all kinds of color with the yellow and um, tomatoes and peppers and oh my gosh, this is just like, it's a really delicious, delicious meal. And you don't have to have meat. I mean, I've got egg, if you're a vegan, you don't have to have that. Um, so I thought that was really a good tip to share with you guys today. And what I also wanted to tell you that if you're the type of person where you have to have a little car, right? These are fantastic. Look, remember I told you about my little Breville oven? I use it all the time. But these are like mini tortillas. If, you're, if you don't want the flour, um, you can get the corn. And, uh, but this, I love these. I make, these are like having like a little mini slider, little mini taco. But if you put this in the Breville oven and toast it a little bit and you can put a little bit of cheese on it and then you just fold it over and you kind of have it as like a little side on your salad with your salad, then you kind of have that satisfaction of having the carb and not just all veggies. So that's actually what I wanted to talk with you about today. Oh, I will tell you too, um, I do, it is fun to make your own dressings. So I have two and if you want the recipes, just let me know, give me a little chat there. Um, this is just an oil vinaigrette and pretty basic, but this one I, I love, this is what we're gonna have tonight. Um, it's a yogurt, um, a Greek yogurt dill dressing. And so you make it with yogurt. Now a lot of people have Greek yogurt or regular yogurt. yogurt. Uh, it's got some vinegar, some oil, and a lot of lemon in it. Oh, speaking of lemon, I was gonna show you this little tool that I love. I don't know if you guys have one of these, but these, these two tools are great. If you wanna just do like one lemon real quick, this is really good. You cut it in half and you go like that and it juices the lemon. Um, this is fantastic. I mean, I, it, it, it juices the lemon so well. It's a little brawn. Um, I've had it for years, I think since I got married, and the seeds stay right here, and then the juice goes in here, and it's really great if you wanna make lemonade or lots of lemon, but it 
completely juices the lemon. I mean, all you have left is skin. So it's, I really love this. But what I was gonna tell you is in that yogurt dressing, um, if you're dairy, if you're dairy free, is I get this coconut milk yogurt, and that's what I use for my creamy Greek dressing. And um, it, the recipe does call for sugar, but I don't put it in there. So you can modify it as to how you want. So a healthy, delicious, colorful salad. Hope you found that helpful. The other thing I wanted to share with you before I sign off today is um, your, during COVID, it's really important to have a good immune system, right? So a lot, of, as you know, you're supposed to be drinking water throughout the day. You gotta keep your throat moist and it's healthy to be drinking water. Well, a lot of times my husband and I, we put electrolytes we have for quite a while in our water and it's not that tasty. So, um, but these two things are wonderful. So you have Air, Airbon, these little citrus, they come in different flavors. And then this is my personal favorite. I love these little emergencies. And what I found is I, see this is my water right here. I found that I drink a lot more with that citrus flavor in my water. So I thought that was a good, healthy tip. If you, I hope you guys found this helpful and I hope you're more inspired to eat healthy and have a delicious salad. Let me see if there's any questions that I can answer here before I sign off. Looks like, oh, hey, Tony. Patsy. Glenn, that's awesome you came by. Thank you. Hey Lynn, you know, this is really a lot of fun. You know, I mean, I love real estate and I love serving our clients and problem solving. And, you know, but during COVID, I'm like, you know what? We're gonna mix it up a little bit, invite you into my home and have a little fun. And thank you so much for popping by. I will tell you next week, uh, Wednesday the 29th, um, I think people are starting to get a little antsy, <laughs> uh, you know, going at this two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, now going six, seven, eight weeks. Uh, so I thought I would share with you some ways to help you with helping with your anxiety or your antsiness, you know? I, I don't know about you, but it's like I'm ready to get out, right? Uh, so anyways, I really thank you for stopping by. I do want to tell you a little quote that I read today. Um, you know, I always say thumbs up. I have for years and, and lots of love. And uh, But I saw this little quote today. Every time you smile at someone, it is an act of love. Mother Teresa. So from my home to yours, thumbs up, lots of love, keep smiling, and we'll see you next Wednesday. Thank you.